Hi, this is Flat Cap Cafe Racer. I'm here at Dennis Dillon Power Sports. Gonna see what they have. In the way of inventory. Stand by. Meerkat. So I'm talking to Chuck here at Dennis Dillon, and you just said you just picked up Urals? Yes, we're now the new Ural dealer. I didn't know that. And I don't these, even think they're on the website. Yeah, we just got them up, and these are the gear ups. Is this their primary product that they sell? It has a two wheel engageable drive in the rear. You out of trouble? They have reverse. Yes. Yep, 23s. These are all fuel injected now. They've upgraded with Brembo brakes. So they're just making strides in their manufacturing and improving every year. Yeah, they certainly are. I mean, I remember I've actually test rode one of these. Uh, about four or five years ago, but they've they've made a lot of improvements. We had them at Big Twin, and it was a disaster because they were carbureted back then, and the quality just wasn't there. Right. And uh, now that the fuel injection, that just they just run uh, really well. It's just going to be interesting because price points on these are still about twenty six, you know, twenty three to twenty six thousand dollars, depending on how they're kitted out. Yeah, uh, a lot of. I don't think these have the LED lights, but you can get the LED lights and put on, put yeah, in them. They also have the lights for the um, sidecar side car as well, right. bumpers. And then the Vanderhalls are the other thing we just picked up. You know, these are classified as motorcycles. <laughs> They're made down in Utah. Three wheel, I have a Chevrolet 1.5 liter turbo motor, front wheel drive, front wheel steering. Let me get the picture of the interior of this. And what are these selling for, Chuck? These are roughly 41,000 up to 51,000, just based on the trim. This is the entry level trim with kind of a vinyl type seat. Yeah. No roof. Yeah. And then they go up in trim level to roofs and a little bit better quality interior. Uh, it does have a roof on it. And is that roof, can you take the roof off? You can. It'll, just is something that's not a quick detach, but you can remove it if you want. It'll just look like that. So how long have you been doing the Vanderhaals? Same thing, uh, just within the last month, just getting ready for the spring. Brad, our owner, Brad Dillon, uh, just picked up both these lines, just thinking the time is right. So so now you, you've got two, do you have two sidecars in here, or Urals? Yeah, we have two, we have a third one, um, and then we have three more coming. We've got one that's black. That's we're just waiting on it to get built. Uh, so, are they are you going to get any glossy colors, or are they all going to be the no, matte? No, no, we'll get glossy as well. That's what we've got coming to us. Or I think three gloss colors. They have like a a whole palette now of colors available. Can't get over having these uh, Vanderhalls, whatever they call them. Try to get a few pictures going along. Got spiders over here. They didn't have spiders here last time either. Very nice looking. I mean, I'm a spider guy. Wow, you've got a, I'm just looking at the inventory here. Yeah, you know, I've come in here where you've been pretty sparse and uh, I think we're starting to catch up. Our yeah, we're definitely getting caught up, but there's still, it's kind of the oddity is what you don't see is, is where the shortages are. <laughs> Come on down here just a little bit. I, I wanted to ask you, now you've, I know you're doing pretty good with the Royal Enfields and it looks like you got a pretty good stack of Royal Enfields here. Yep, got more the, coming. The Scrams, the Himalayans, the Meteors. Um, Interceptor 650s. To, Couple, uh, yeah, got an Interceptor 650, the uh, Classics. Classics. Yeah. You'd they see. have a couple new models on the horizon that we're just waiting on. Like the 450, maybe? Well, it's a 650. 650s. Um, Meteor 650. Oh, yeah. That we're waiting to see if it'll hit the US. Super, super Meteor. The super yeah. Meteor, yeah. And so we're waiting on that to see what that'll be priced at for the US market. It's been released in the world, it's just not out in the US yet. We'll just talk about a, a bump up in the Himalayan in the future. But I've I, heard that. I don't that. know if it'll be a 650. They, I, they keep I'm, talking I'm, about it'll be something just bumped up from a 411 to maybe a 450. And then BMWs are finally getting some Beamers. I've got a couple going home this week. And we have a S1000 
Double R Superbike that'll go home tonight, and an RS, an R1250 RS that'll go home later. This this one over here? This, yep. Oh, this is a, the, uh, the black one or the uh, blue and white? It's actually the black one over here, just further back. I've got it tucked over here. Well, tell me a little bit about this one. Yeah, this is just the 1250 RS um, in the motorsport color, the red, white, and blue color. The tricolor? Mm -hmm. It's my favorite color there. Actually, this is this is one of my favorite colors. And, uh, it's just a little bit sportier sport touring bike. People that just don't want an RT like we have over there. With right. Fairing work on it, but they have the same motor, uh, same horsepower, 136 horsepower, shift cam motors. It's just a real... It's nice bike to ride. They're really nice, and and this one has the cruise control. Yep. Cruise, heated. The ride modes, heated grips. Some of these also have heated seats, just based on the build. Yeah. Well, this is this is lovely, and there's the in black, but yep. that's it, the triple black color of the bike. It yeah. just Totally changes the look. Yeah. I actually I prefer the the tricolor myself, but I know a lot of people would do that. And so you, what do you have going back? You say you have... Yeah, back here we've got one that's been kitted out with some paneers that'll be going home later this week in the triple black color. And this gentleman added the cylinder head guards and the black paneers you can get. Oh yeah. It does look nice. It's got the... And then we've got the super bike back here going home tonight. That'll the gentleman gets off work deeply recommended. S1000 RR. They're pretty, they're pretty, pretty doggone nice too, but you know, it's a little bit more, I, I think the RS, 1250 RS would be a little bit more comfortable for me. Yeah, the gentleman who's buying this RS uh -huh. has a super bike. He's 76 years old. He's been riding a super bike for since 2017, and he's finally upgrading to this for more comfort. That's a nice, nice choice. Whoever you are, Mr. Gentleman, it's a nice, nice choice there. I think you made a, a good one. Well, you just got a whole bunch of stuff in here, Chuck. I'm really impressed. Yeah, even Ducati. We finally got some Ducati inventory. It's been so short over the last two years due to COVID supply chain. Right. So, we're so the getting a nice stock of Ducati. In the stuff. Or it's coming with everything you need in them. You know, sometimes they were pieces and parts were both yes. in, they yeah, were missed. Correcting itself, but even Ducati now is getting production going. Wow. So we got uh, the new Desert X. X. Yeah, yeah that's a, and also the new color, the dark gray. Wow. Very nice. And you get some. Got the scramblers here. Got the multistratas. Got the, I call them dual vills. I don't know what you guys call them. I need to come over here more often. They've just got a, some good stuff, you know. I like the, uh, I like some of these Ducatis, pretty good. I like, definitely like that RS up there, that tricolor RS. And this is a beautiful monster SP, although it doesn't have the you know, trellis frame and stuff that we typically associate with monsters, do it? Does it? but it's got some glossy colors on it and it's nice two-tone. If you're like GS's, you got a multitude of GS's to pick from. There's a couple R9T's in here. Yeah. I appreciate Chuck kind of walking me through some of this stuff. I 
think this was one of those uh, iron. I mean, the 719 option. Sorry about the squeaky shoes. 12780. That tricolor there is. It's twenty thousand dollars, just like it sets. Nice RT. I keep coming back to this RS. So we got the cruise control right here. The heated hand grips over here. It really looks like it's got a. Electronics front suspension here. I bet you it has something similar to that for the rear if it's a dynamic suspension. So that'll be electronic also. Yeah, dynamic ASA. Wow. I got to get away from that. <laughs> Obviously, they got a lot of new things in there, uh, new new models, new brands. So, don't be afraid to go down to a big dealership like that. They've got some good people in there, and Chuck's one of them. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.